Oh. Well, hi there. Well, happy holidays. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Yes. We have some awesome holiday themed Marvel characters to unbox here. A few of them. I brought Santa along for this unboxing. We're feeling the spirit. Yes. If you guys haven't finished your holiday shopping or just want to pick up something else for yourself, these are a great addition to your Marvel collection. I mean, we're pretending they don't already have it as part of their Christmas yes, decorations yes, at yes. home. But there's there's still time. It's out and available. But who do we have here? I'm going to kick it off with uh, Spider-Man himself wearing a festive holiday sweater. Yes. Uh, he's doing a little check it out. He is, yes. Let's get him out of the box here and take a look. We should have made that sweater. Oh my god, what a brilliant what idea. idea. Yeah. It's got a... Uh, it's got Spider-Man on there. It's yep. got his logo and some snowflakes, and I can't tell what the other things are. He's ready to go. We'll let you guys decide. And then we also have Deadpool holding some candy canes, which could be used as a deadly weapon. If it's Deadpool, you know it's going to yeah. happen. So he's got some festive holiday candy canes there, ready to go. Like, the Merc the, with a mouth. Are the ends sharpened? No. He doesn't need them. Next up. Got the big green guy himself, Hulk, holding a Christmas present, and uh, he actually doesn't look. Nope, he definitely looks angry. He looks angry. Yeah. Oh, and he's oh, got he a, stocking. a stocking. The stocking has a gift and a candy cane in it as well. Look at that guy. Yes. Look how big he is compared to. He is. He's, yes. he's B.I.B. Big in box. <laughs> and we also have a holiday Groot, which is a little different. We did a holiday Groot a couple years ago, right? Yeah. This is a little different. I don't think that one had the lights going around mm -hmm. him like this one does. I mean, he is a tree. So he's in a green planter with a red holiday bow with lights all over. He's ready. Sweet. There you go. Bop, ba -da -bop, ba -da -bop, ba -da -bop, bop, bop, Wow. I'm in the holiday spirit already. It's snowing. It's snowing and everything. Okay, so let's get started. Okay. Um, you kick it off. I think you should start with the... Okay. I have C-3PO. Yes. Let's take a closer look at him. But not, not just any C-3PO. He's a Santa C-3PO, but his um, beard is missing. He's holding it in his hands. He's holding his own beard, which might be a pop first. Yep. Beard holding. Because I feel like C-3PO would be like, this is preposterous. I would never have this, yeah. 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 This does not keep me warm. Okay. <laughs> we also have Chewbacca. Very, in a very realistic predicament for a Chewbacca, I would imagine. I totally agree. Um, let's just open this one up. So he's just he's wrapped perfect. in Christmas lights. Seems all tangled up as though he fell into a trap. Oh. Uh, I know. He's going to get out of it, though. He seems kind of angry he's about got, it. He's got like that he Wookiee strength. <laughs> okay. We've all been there. Am I right? No, I have the true Santa here. I have Yoda. <gasps> That's right. He's not holding the beard or anything. He's just, no, he's just accepting the duties. And he has a sack of presents. Yes. You would expect. Look at him rising to the occasion. C-3PO could learn a lesson or two. little feet yeah. coming out of his robe. That's really cute. That's super cute. I love it. Um, speaking of super cute, we have Darth Vader. <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you think he would do if you switched his lightsaber with a candy cane? I think that he would just still go on like his weird Rogue One murder spree, but it would just be way more festive. <laughs> so here you have, like everybody else is, is doing so much and he's just kind of like, I'll hold one candy cane. <laughs> like that's the only <laughs> distinction. Very realistic for Darth Vader, I feel like. True. And I have R2-D2, our last holiday Star Wars oh, pop. And so he's cute. fantastic. He Look has antlers with Light strung up into them. That's awesome. Man, imagine like the ship is like getting under siege, and they're like R two, and he just kind of rolls in like that. You're like, all right, happy holidays. I'm gonna kick it off with this one because uh, uh, one of my all-time favorite Christmas movies, maybe the greatest Christmas story ever told. Is it a Christmas movie though? Oh, Yippee Kaye to this one. That is pretty cool. We've got Die Hard Tony in the sweater when he comes down the elevator, uh, not against his will. Yeah, yeah. Uh, ho, ho, ho. Now I got a gun. Let's get him out of here. That's pretty awesome. He's in the chair. He's in the office chair. He's I'd not looking you have too good. Two of these already. Oh, you. Out of box, one in box. You better believe it. Yep. I mean, he's front and center in the Christmas collection this year. Uh, okay. Amazing. That's a statement. And we do also have from Stranger Things. Ornaments, which this is the first time we've done ornaments, I believe, with Stranger Things. So that's uh, yeah, in this styling, anyway. So it's uh, pretty cool. We got uh, easy. Don't don't throw eleven down. Nope. So we got eleven. Looks like she's about to uh, get a little angry. Need some powers there. Um, then the uh, Demogorgon. 
I mean, what does what says Christmas like a demogorgon? Uh, yeah, right. And then we also have Steve ready with for bat, battle. ready for battle. So any Stranger Things fan, you need these on your tree. And in case there was any question, uh, this proves that uh, yes, they're ornaments, but also make great figures uh, that you can they're put too, out yeah, with the rest of your collection. Nice, so yeah, year round. Why not? Next up, a uh, very special one for me because Hermie was one of the very first pops I got. Oh, there you go. Now we got Hermie and Rudolph in the vinyl two-pack. Uh, I'm going to bust these out of here. I love it because they always come in twos. They do. Reasonably priced. And the artwork on these, amazing. Yes. I love that it's kind of like a styling between pop and dwarves to some extent. Like, it's a, it's a nice mix. They're lightweight. These come with Stand stands. Stand alert. Uh, Rudolph and Hermie, both with stands. Yeah, definitely one of my favorite lines from the last uh, couple of years and uh, something I've got a lot of at home. Look at that set. There we go. Cool. Then we also have some Overwatch characters, which are GameStop exclusives. I want to say it's in the box. The it GameStop was. Box. Yeah, yeah. So, um, we have Tracer here. She is in a green kind of elf costume. One of her skins from in-game, I believe. Yep. Part of the uh, holiday festivities. I forget what they call it in Overwatch. Please forgive me. Yep, same. She has a stand, so don't don't toss that out. She's a uh, she's ready to go in the holiday spirit. Very like detailed design on this pop the, the, with the styling. She's got a little swag to her. Also got uh, May, which uh, has had some awesome exclusives already yeah, in the definitely. past. A uh, big part of the Overwatch line from the very beginning. This one uh, also with the stand, as you pointed out, a GameStop exclusive. She's got on her uh, her festive gear. Front to back, some cool boots. Yeah. She's got rock in there. I like that. And uh, she's ready to put some snow out there. Let's put those together. Yeah. And then last, but certainly not least, from the new Grinch movie that came out uh, this past November, uh, we have some pop styling from that um, with the Grinch himself, which I saw this movie. This movie was super cute. If you liked Minions, it's from the same animation studio, nice. so it has the same styling. And the voices, and I think, yep. Cumberbatch? Yep, yep. Yeah. I think we did a really good job like putting our take on that type of style, too. So you got to have the Grinch. He's looking all grumpy. Happy as ever. Yeah. Uh, the other version we got here is Young Grinch. He's a tiny little guy in this box. Let's check him out. This, this major plot point here? Um, I mean, there's a, you know, in the story, he always talks about his childhood and kind of why he is the way he is. He looks a bit more surprised than angry in this one, so maybe he started Still out a as little, a yeah. happy little fella. Yep. And then everyone's favorite, Cindy Lou Who. This is perfect. She was super cute in this movie. She's all over the place. Look at those pigtails. Also has a stand. She's looking sweet and innocent. It's awesome. Ready to just, you know, spread some holiday cheer. I mean, we need to put her up there with the strong hair game pops yeah. of the year with like Dragon Ball Z. There should be an award for that. Um, as you can see, we have some holiday things for Funko HQ. We have some SpongeBob, and we even have Elf right over here. So let's get started. Do you want to kick it off? Let's kick it off with SpongeBob Square. Let's yes. do it. All right. Uh, I'm gonna grab Patrick. I knew you were going to do that. <laughs> Tell okay, us a little bit about Patrick. Oh, okay, so hold on. Patrick is just looking super festive with his scarf and candy cane. He's really getting into the holiday spirit. This is fantastic. We have the SpongeBob SquarePants pop as well. Um, I know a lot of SpongeBob fans have been asking for more SpongeBob pops. Celebrate the holiday season with this SpongeBob pop holding a present and with a Santa Claus hat. So cute. Yes, great detail on that. You can actually see into the pores of the sponge. So the holiday pops from SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> Oops, I almost dropped Patrick. Never drop Patrick. Yeah. All right, so we have some items from the 12 Days of Funko yes. that I believe are still available online. Um, this may, this uh, Holiday Freddy may be available in stores. I'm not sure if he's yes. still available online. But these are available at Funko HQ in Everett, Washington. If you happen to be up in the Pacific Northwest, stop on by and grab some last minute holiday gifts. I'm gonna open this one up. So this is kind of part of a new uh, like Freddy vinyl series that we seem to be doing where there's a, you know, a one in rain gear, there's a vampire one for Halloween, and now we have this nice holiday one with a sweater, scarf, beanie, and a giant candy cane. It's perfect. Perfect for the holidays. We also have Buddy the Elf as a Funko Shop exclusive. <laughs> Just, how does a raccoon look on that one? Because I don't think, the, I don't think the, the product shot does it justice. Kind of like going in for a hug. Oh, it's 
got like a he's got a death stare. A little bit. He's done some things. It's very cute though. I love it. Um, and then we also have the Freddy Funko cereal, the holiday edition, where Freddy is wearing some Santa gear, and then the maze on the back is actually a snowman Freddy. And the figure inside is, let's just get into this. Let's just open let's it just up. Let's just do it. So you get the little Happy Holidays Freddy vinyl figure. And some green cereal. I'm so sorry. Oh my god. So if you remember this pop, I think it came out last year during our 12 days. Mm -hmm. um, now it's a minifigure, and it even says Happy Holidays on the present. So um, get a little vinyl gift figure, and then you also get some green Funkos. Some festive cereal. Start your morning off right. Right? Right. Right. Um, so these are some of the holiday offerings that we have at Funko HQ and online. So thank you guys for tuning into the unboxing video, and don't forget to keep popping. Happy holidays. Happy holidays.